So I got an email or a comment asking me, well, this question has been asked uh, several times already. Uh, the question is how to get out of depression, how to cure depression. Because I used to be depressed, I used to be suicidal, but now I'm not anymore. I'm manic all the time. And the last time I was depressed, truly depressed, was uh, years ago, I don't remember. That's when I started reading books. Here's what I want to talk about. I said depression, if you, I mean, medication, if you don't want to go to the psychiatrist, that's fine, you know. Uh, but I'm just going to offer you what got me out of depression. Um, the natty way, okay? So when you're depressed, it's usually because you're feeling sorry for yourself. You're usually uh, dealing on these problems in your mind, or your own problems, right? And, um, and what I found useful was to uh, stop being so self-referential, to take my ego, myself, out of the equation. I think depression is sometimes a little bit egoistic. You run into a problem and you think that for some reason you... Uh, the mismatch between uh, how the world is and how you are and a lot of times this mismatch is caused by um, by your ego and by your sort of your you think you should be better than what you are a lot of times and what I realized is that when as what the, let me just give you a very specific example Brian Greene's book the uh, fabric of the cosmos I, I recommended this book many times before but if you haven't check out this description box and I'll link you to Amazon this book man that that book really literally brought me out of depression now, I wasn't the only one who said this Brian Greene even said it himself in an interview that he got a letter from Iraq say soldiers were reading his book and instead of the Bible they're reading his book about the universe about the string theories about relativity about you know parallel universes and then they, they, they realized that there's nothing to be afraid of right and 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 what I found useful what I from my, from my own personal experience was that when I was depressed, when I was reading that book, I was like, holy shit, my problem is nothing, right? I, I stepped out of my own uh, misery, my own problem, and I was reading about the, the you know, the, the objective reality. I was understanding uh, truths about, you know, about the cosmos. And then I realized how pathetic my own problem is. And I realized how fascinating, how interesting everything else out there is compared to my own problem. I mean, I, mean, I, I recommend reading non-fiction rather than fiction because sometimes when you're fiction, you watch a movie, you sort of, sort of, you can connect with the characters and the, the, the stories, you sort of feel, you start feeling sorry for yourself again. At least what my, my experience is that, you know, you, you watch this movie and then you start crying, it's like, oh, I'm just like that. Fuck that, right? Pathetic, right? And then, um, you don't want to, you don't want to identify with the betas in the fucking movies and the books, you know, the like Gote, you know, the, the uh, what's, what's the guy's name? Uh, yeah, the Gote character who fucking killed himself. You don't want to read that shit, read the price. You want to read objective uh, scientific facts. I think that's the most useful because it's cold, it's objective, but at the same time it's so fascinating. Uh, you know what I'm saying? It's just, yeah, so read about science, about physics, psychology. Uh, your psychology just helps too. It helps you understand what your problem is, you know. And uh, evolutionary psychology really helped me. You know, Richard Dawkins books, you know, Steven Pinkers, all those guys, Sam Harris, all those guys really, well, they're they really company, you know. They, you know, that, that you know, that's how I cure my depression. <laughs>